Well, thousands of tourists were forced to cut their vacation short when the power outage happened. We've learned many of them won't get their money back. Reporter Jonathan Costin has the story. A family vacation to the Outer Banks can set a family back thousands of dollars, and it's usually money spent up front to put a hold on lodging. So the tens of thousands of people who are forced to leave because of the power outage may be out of luck in getting a refund unless they purchased vacation or travel insurance. If they purchased the insurance before this happened, yes. If they wait till it happens and then try to purchase the insurance, that's not going to work. Connie Boeing is a AAA travel agent, and she says she always tries to encourage clients planning a trip to also buy insurance. Boeing says chances are vacationers whose plans were dashed by the power outage will have to file with whatever agency they planned their trip. Boeing says there are instances which won't be covered by travel insurance. I don't feel like going today. I'm having a bad hair day. I'm mad at my wife. You know, those type of things. <laughs> it has to be a medical or a legal reason. The AAA agent says the insurance usually covers the traveler and their traveling companion. I had a situation that my father had passed away. I was traveling with my best friend, not related to my best friend at all, but it was covered because she was my traveling companion. One man from Portsmouth tonight who was affected by the evacuation, he told me he did have travel insurance for his vacation, but he says the insurance company told him he won't be reimbursed because the outage was caused by human error, not a natural disaster. He was told he could still file if he likes, but chances are he's out of 4,000 bucks. Jonathan Costin, 13 News Now.